Hi, I'm Bradley. And I'm Lucas. And this is the EX30 review. Yes, it is. I'm quite impressed by this machine. Uh, little things, trolley handle, yeah, a little flimsy. Still centered, better than the RS. Uh, you carry it upstairs, how'd that go? Stair chest was a resounding success. Compared to the V13, only 12 pounds lighter, so you wouldn't expect it to be too much, but the handles are so low, you can really like uh, get up on it as you're probably seeing now. Delightfully surprised. Makes sense. Uh, kickstand, quite uh, flimsy. You have to be on perfectly level ground. Mm -hmm. I also saw Sean in New York was clipping the kickstand going downstairs. Oh. Uh, we love riding downstairs. That sounds dangerous and sketchy though. Yeah. So I think you should probably do it. I should? Yeah. All right. First impressions of the EX30 suspension after the stairs, going down the stairs, I must say, <laughs> really impressed, really impressed. I don't think we have it set up to full, full pressure. And I'm heavier than Sean, and I didn't get any clippage whatsoever. It felt smooth as heck. I did it about four times. That was my first time trying any stairs on the EX30 minus the three set in our store. And I just ate them up, no problem. And that's a huge testament to how good this thing is because I don't feel that confident to hit that on pretty much anything other than the S22. And I did a first try on this without power pads, just the stock ones. So very excited on the preliminary stair test. Uh, let's, let's go back down to reality though and maybe do the front test. There's just, there's just no way. Nope. <laughs> I don't even think repositioning this. Ah, it's getting better. Nope. All right, so we aren't doing a trunk test because every single wheel will fit in the trunk of this car. So that's why we do the trunk test. Uh, so far, the only thing that's been able to fit in this, like the biggest wheel I can think of would be the InMotion V12, the EX30, no go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tra la 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 la. Goose, goose, goose test for you and me. Goose test with a car to help aid in visualization. Let's walk through it, shall we? So I'm riding along, going down a bike path, not too close to the car as you can see, but still away from traffic as you should. I'm riding along, wheeling along, car door opens. Oh no, I'm going however fast I'm going. Better move over this way. Oh, now I'm in traffic. Better move over that way. Now you give the obligatory, how do you do? And that's the goose test. We're gonna use this for every single one. We're not gonna keep the car there for our own well-being and the well-being of whatever vehicle we have this day. This day, it's my girlfriend's Mitsubishi. Thank you, dear. And we're gonna move that out of the way, but just as this to help you visualize exactly what we're trying to do here. You can see there's a little bit of room on the side, that's with the car door fully open. It may or may not be in whatever situation, but as you know, if you're riding in a UC, your hands might be moving out as well. So that gives you room for your kind of body to move as well as your hands to move without clipping anything, as you should if you're riding safely in a bike lane or near cars where the door might open. So let's see what the EX30 can do on the goose test and uh, compare it to the V13 and everything else we test against. Okay, and go. Woo! Woo! All right. Ah. Okay. Woo! Oh. Woo! Okay. Yeah. Goose test. A resounding pass for the EX30. Thing's up 100 pounds and handles like it weighs literally 50 pounds less than the V13. The speed wasn't a huge difference between the two as far as performance, but the feeling was immeasurable. We tried it on the V13 20 times more than I tried it right now, and I got a better speed right away. I think I got a better speed, right? Yeah, so 29 I got on the V13? Oh, shoot, okay. Well, hmm, maybe we need to try it one more time. <laughs> okay order has been restored. I have beaten the V13. <laughs> I wasn't aware when we were recording that last bit that I went slightly faster on the V13. So I had to go back because there's no way that the V13 is quicker on the goose test than this. So with pride on the line, I now got 33 kilometers per hour, miles per hour, 
we point to it. We'll see what he decides to do in post editing. It's faster. It's quicker to respond. It's quite nimble for how big this wheel is. I'm I'm quite surprised. I'm not a Bagot fanboy by any means, and I'm quickly learning to love this wheel. Let's see if that holds up while we go into the workshop and take this thing apart and look at the insides, which is often where Bagot happens to fall short. Let's find out. All right, we're back here in the lab. Mm. Ah, mm. much better. The clothes? Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't feel, just feel right. Well, I feel more right standing next to you, oh. so. Let's go over this uh, beautiful machine. Eh, let's be honest, not the most beautiful machine. Yeah. But it's the performance you're after if you're into this wheel. So this thing delivers an insane 4,000 watt motor. Oh. Albert, oh. the nutcase, got up to 90 kilometers per hour on it. Yeah, just mind blowing to me. 20 kilometers an hour to 90 kilometers an hour in under 200 meters. Yeah. That's insane. And there's never been an EUC with this motor in it, <gasps> but with this much power in it before either. Yeah, it even crushes the V13 in terms of power, uh, mostly because the controller can deliver more power to the motor. Yeah. I actually think the V13 motor is probably more powerful. Anyway, um, the suspension on this thing, it's a lot nicer uh, than, say, the Master. It's less clunky. All the good wheels. Yeah, all the good yeah. wheels. It's I quite like it. The only issue is people were complaining that the kickstand can hit the bottom of stairs mm -hmm. when you're going down stairs, especially if you're going down too slow. Where's the thing? Now, they do fix that by a little spacer here. We added this on here just to, to show you. Oh, but the spacer on. will just prevent you from traveling about that, that much. And that'll prevent the kickstand from hitting if you're going down stairs or curbs slowly or something like that. But it, honestly, it shouldn't be that much of a deal unless you're going slow. Um, we have a PSI set to two. Did you see that? Weird. Um, yeah, I, I, I saw thought... it in my peripheral. I thought I saw it in the last one too, but I. No one I, else did. Weird. I don't know. Huh. 200 PSI is what we have it set to, but yep. you can get up to 300. 200, I wasn't bottoming out. You said you were getting close. Well, you know, pre clink. But you have your dude it. and you have 100 PSI more to play with. So you're not going to bottom this thing out, most likely, for most, in most cases. Yeah. And it's, like I said, it's not very clunky. So that's quite nice. Um, the rim is significantly uh, wider and stronger. Nice knowing you're gonna be able to drop off curves and not probably have any issues with this rim. Uh, the lower center of gravity you also experience is nice. The pedals are quite low because this thing can clip, but that's okay. Lower pedals means more stability. I'll take it over having them too high because I hate wobbles. Um, the yep. Master Pro, I'm just sitting too high. It doesn't feel right. This just yeah. feels a lot nicer and the more stability, but not only that, is this thing is a crazy agile. Yep. In like a in a very stable way, I can maneuver and carve going quite quickly, and I quite like that about the EX30. My, actually, my favorite part of the wheel, I yeah. must say, yeah. is the is the low ride. Have the riding, it's, yeah. Yeah. The rideability is quite nice. Rideability is up there. Let's uh, take off the hood. All right. So the difference between this and the Commander Pro or the um, any other Bagode wheel is there's actually two extra capacitors. So there's a total of seven capacitors here. I mean, it's no in motion wheel, but it is no. def definitely. Dude. What's going on? What are you doing? I'm telling you, man, try it one time. It's liberating. <laughs> it closed. It's not meant to be. I'm hanging. I'm banging. Shout out bang energy. I'm just chilling. <laughs> what am I going to do when you're talking capacitors? I'm just chill, hanging and banging. That's it. I'm a simple no man. Memory. Ah, uh, it's the coffee test. What are we gonna do here? We're gonna take this coffee, sponsored by Tim Hortons. Black, no cream, no sugar, no lid. Quite hot. I'm gonna hold it. I'm gonna have a camera pointing down. I'm gonna have an Insta360. I'm gonna have a drone following me. Lots of footage. I'm gonna take the EX30. I'm gonna ride it down this pretty bumpy technical trail that I haven't been on more than once, and it's been quite a while, so I don't remember it. And uh, we're gonna see how nice and clean and white my nice clean white lab coat stays as I ride through with a cup of coffee. Science. Come on, come on, Tim Horton. Oh Lord, oh Lord. Oh, okay, all right, back on the horse, coffee test. Oh. Oh. 
Okay. Ooh, a little coffee bonk. I'll skip that one. Oh, Lord. Ooh. Oh, yeah, coffee test. Coffee test. Let's go. Oh. Oh, fuck. Hey. Ho. Oh. Woo. Felt the wind from that thing. Oh. Oh. Yeah, let's go. I got it. My arm needs to be like suspension. Oh, this one's much worse. Oh. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. Hey. Oh. Coffee bonk. Lost the drone. Oh, look. Oh. Ah. Oh, that threw me off. That threw me off. All right. Okay. That much gone. We were probably we were probably about like an inch down when we started. And that is the only stain. Look at that. That's it. There's one here that was already there from when I before I morphed into this new shot. I'm pretty impressed. I'm pretty impressed. I, I fell a couple times, as you saw. Um, I don't know if it's a testament to how steady I kept my hand or how good the suspension is, but I think what we might do for future tests is devise some sort of janky contraption that hangs over our shoulders and has no suspension, and it just the coffee just sits here painfully close in front of us, and there's no escaping it. Because I can kind of move it around. If I'm about to fall, I can stop. We're learning, we're getting more official as we go. To this point, with this test, very pleased. Very, very pleased. I felt controlled, even with a cup of coffee in my hand, only spilled, I don't know. It's no good. Only spilled maybe, I don't know, 100 mil? 100 mil, not bad? I'll take it. Next, we should do the speed test. <laughs> All right, we are here at the track in Richmond. We found our last test a little bit boring. It just like, it doesn't really work. One, you and I are not one to top the max speed. People are doing it already. The list manufacturing speed is what we already know. Yep. So how does it perform on a track? Twist and turns and braking and acceleration. That's gonna give us a much better idea yep. of the speed and just overall yeah, definitely. This is a this is not just like a chill track either. There's four go karts, so it's sharp. It's it's also abandoned, so it's quite in disrepair. It's bumpy. There's you know we got to really be well, with so it. Also, kind of got the wrong helmet. Mm. So TSG Pass. It's a great helmet for city riding, slower speeds. It's not ready for racing. Uh, if you're going to be going faster than 50 kilometers an hour, you should probably get a DOT pr approved helmet. We're testing some ourselves in the next in the coming weeks. We don't have them yet, so I feel. A little dangerous riding this thing right now uh, while we're racing, but. Yeah, well, luckily, keyword I'm, as in you, I did the stairs, you do the racing, you're the speed guy, I'm the send it guy, so I'm just gonna hold this flag and look cute to the finish line, and um, good luck, buddy, good luck. Good luck. Mommy. Get it! like a sexy flag girl pose for the finish. Okay, well, I learned something today there, Lucas. I'm not a racer. <laughs> the, they held a race here last year uh, with Jack and, and those guys, and I think Jack had the record of like 46 seconds on a Sherman Max. Uh, I believe that was right. Ridiculous. Anyway, I, um, I'm nowhere close to that, obviously. What was it, 102 live. something on the EX30? I wanna live. The EX30, very impressive. The braking is really good. The maneuvering is 
really good. Yep. Because it's so low to the ground, this thing's going to be winning a lot of races this year. Um, no pedal clippage when you rode either. No right? pedal clippage. I was looking down, it looked sketchy at some points. Uh, Sherman S, I think if I had a few more laps and a properly inflated tire. Yes. Yeah, it's a little flat it's and we don't have a pump right now. Like, it may have been able to edge out the EX30 just because I'm more comfortable on it. Uh, and then we have the Master Pro. It's just big and heavy. And um, I thought the V13 would actually beat it, but <laughs> in my laps it did not, just by a smidge. And the V13, not a bad wheel. The, like, the, the best thing about the V13 was the braking. Yep. It braked really well around the corner uh, before I was going on a sharp corner. So I always felt confident enough that I know I could slow down enough for each corner. Speaking of braking, I think that's a perfect segue. Let's do a braking test on the X30 and see how it compares to the V13. Let's go. <sighs> Smell of a beautiful brake test in the mountain pass here. But the EX30, we're in a little different area than we normally are for these brake tests. Um, and it's going to be a good one. Less buses, so that's a plus. And we have a jump park that's closed right now, but will be open in the summer and we'll test every wheel that can be done with that. Anyways, I divert. We're going to start, I'm going to start, it's me doing it. <laughs> I'm going to get up to either 25 or 50 kilometers an hour. When we hit a certain point where the cones start, I'm going to crank that soldier boy if I can grab something or not just sit back and fight the wobbles break as hard as I can and we're going to standardize that across all the different wheels we do this with and um, see how they compare today it's on the EX30 and we <laughs> decided to set it up so there's a huge probably pretty hard packed snow bank uh, as a end wall so if I don't make it in time I get to fly into some snow and hopefully not hurt myself too much for your entertainment if that's not worth a like and a subscribe, I don't know what is. Let's get to it. All right. That's my guess. Scoop. That seems really short. I don't know. But 25 is not very fast. That's like five miles an hour. I don't know. Let's find out. 25. <laughs> Oh. Whoa! Right under your bed. Let's go! <laughs> okay, let's do one more. 50. Oh. Oh. As you see on this handy graph, the V13 did outperform from both speeds for me, uh, more so from the lower speed than the higher speed. I'll say that I felt a lot more confident on the V13 uh, and I think that's where a lot of the braking power came from because I had that handle right in front of me to just grab and crank on where on this it was too low it didn't feel right even at the lower speed it felt weird and if you really wanted to get under it you'd have to get this and it's just it, it felt weird maybe I'm just not good enough V13 it's like boom right here crank it um, so I do believe that's why even though it's a heavier bigger wheel it did brake faster okay data reviewed i'm just gonna go uh change my underwear and we'll meet bradley for the hill test wow this ex30 he just climbed so effortlessly this 4500 watt motor you can just feel the endless power from a complete stop to going up a really steep hill chassis road it's just bites and grips really nice um, it is a little bit more squirrely than the v13 was but it's it's nothing that's gonna stop me from riding it is extremely solid um, i started at 25 degrees celsius and the temperature is climbing fairly slow i think by the time we got to the top it, it reached 46.5 degrees celsius that is some pretty solid uh, heat dissipation on this ex30 uh, this thing will be able to keep up with the best it might actually be the best trail rider um, overall really impressed with the hill climbing ability and just the heat dissipation on this thing zero issues good job to go this is well done Oi. good evening guys we're here at the light show yeah. gonna do the light test with this trusty not microphone lux meter let's see how this light performs copy that Huh. Oh, I'd say it's a little bit underwhelming, mate. Not very good at all. Oh, that's quite dog shit, I'd have to say. Not very good. Four to three point six lux. 
Oh, compared right. to the V13, that was 631 lux mine. God. The spread's not even worth measuring because I'm reading a 41.6 lux here. Oh, that's tragic. But we're 201 inches away, like the last time with the V13, but I'm thinking that this light turns on once you're moving, so we might have to free spin this wheel from the same distance to see if we get a brighter light. Oh, let's figure it out then. Lucas, you mind trying giving that a go? Yeah, I reckon it's gonna suck, but whatever. All right, this is round two. All right, now that we have Lucas gonna hold the wheel, Don't spin it so the light brightens. Right now it's back at 42.4. Lucas, you, re you ready for the lift? I'm ready. All right, let's get it. I'll try and be ginger here. Yeah. Oh, that's much better. Although not really that much. It's 134, 159, 188. Oh, crank it up, mate. Let's go. It seems like the faster you go, it kind of throbs between 150 and 170. Seems quite shit compared to the V13, I'd have to say. Reckon. <laughs> I'm actually impressed. I have, I'm almost speechless. Like, <laughs> like, let's talk about the range test first. Okay. Man, I gotta say this thing, I thought the beeper was broken because I could not get it to beep. At 30% battery, I could still go 70 kilometers per hour. At 20%, I could still go 60 kilometers an hour plus. I wasn't willing to take it faster than that. And I remember it being at like eight or 10%, I was still going 60 on the straight stretches. Mm -hmm. And at 3%, I finally got beeps going up a hill at 55 kilometers an hour. And this is the scariest range test I've done because I don't like pushing any wheel past heck 40 kilometers an hour. So I'm quite impressed with uh, how, how capable it was. And I went 109 kilometers on this thing and I probably could have squeezed out another five kilometers. Uh, but I, when I finally got the beeps, I was like, okay, that's as far as I want to push this range test. Yep. But 109 kilometers for a 3,600 watt hour wheel, that's really solid. Um, and you're pushing it too, yeah. those aren't light kilometers. I want to remind people our range test isn't a set speed for a set time. I'm doing my route home, how I would do it on any wheel based on the capabilities of that wheel. So if I have a wheel that can go quite fast, I'm going to be going as fast as I can on the straight stretches and a little bit safer on round corners. Mm -hmm. But I was going 70 kilometers an hour often on the straight stretches. Mm -hmm. And then I'd be going between 30 to 60 kilometers an hour the rest of the way. So I'm pushing it. I'm just trying to get the battery to drain. So this is a realistic range of what someone else might get. Um, keep in mind, I'm about 180 pounds with my gear on. So yeah, not bad. Yeah, Not bad. It's a big yeah. battery in that thing. That was a lot of a lot of testing. <laughs> it was. I, I, Same route, Sisyphus and Summit. Not enjoyable. <laughs> um, what's there to say? It's a performance wheel. Mm -hmm. It r shreds trail. It's actually a great trail wheel. It like, performs. It really, really does well. Yeah. It, it kind of checks all the boxes, except it just the only thing aesthetically, it doesn't have that refined feeling of yeah. like a in motion wheel. Like there's sharp edges. The pads don't perfectly stick on. <laughs> I, I'm cutting myself on. <laughs> I'm cutting myself and oh, well, I'm know. cutting myself everywhere. But it's just like Papa Roach, you know. They're getting better, and I really want to say uh, we're not the goat haters. We really aren't. We just want what's best for the community, and improvement, quality improvements are so important. And we really like what we see yeah. in the steps that the goat has taken. Now, there's not too many wheels out there. The sample size for Big Goat X30 is quite small. We haven't even sent ours out yet. We haven't even received ours, um, but I think ours might be the next batch. Ooh. Anyway, so we don't really know yet how the quality is gonna be. I do wanna remind people that Bagode, they're more of like a DIYer if you're a performance guy and an enthusiast. Or girl. They're not, or girl, they're not really meant then. for everyday consumers, I would say. But I would agree. But they will get to that point. Um, I don't know, what, I just, what's there to say? I really appreciate Bagode pushing the boundaries of performance mm -hmm. and I'm glad that they're finally listening to riders and uh, they're actually making a new wheel with like a rider in mind he keeps giving them feedback oh. and very excited Stop for the new there. wheel <laughs> but I can't say too much I've been told not to well, shush, so shush. I'm keep my wheels shut my wheels shut keep my wheels shut <laughs> as they say in Estonia <laughs> but I don't mean what's there's not much else to say that was uh, I have something to say my do. friend okay you all know if you watch our video, A camera, B camera, I'm serious talk here. I love the S22. I've been riding the S22 Pro, massive, massive, ultimate. I consider myself the self-obliged, self-appointed self captain of S22 fanboys. And um, 
this thing's growing on me aggressively. Like from, if you're someone who loves that wheel like I do, and it's just nothing compares, this thing is, it's really close. It's scary close. I've always said like, oh, I hold no allegiance to that enough. But as I saw myself, the first time we went down the stairs and first time I accelerated, braked aggressively, I was like, oh damn. First time I rode it. It's, there was no, I didn't have so to acclimatize to it. It's just, and it's agile. It, it behaves like a 70 yeah. pound wheel. It, it handles kind of like a Sherman, you know, sh 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 I want to try it with power pads. We try and do these tests stock because we don't want to assume that people are going to get aftermarket pads. Sometimes we'll, you'll see a video with us, but most of the time we do it. I really want to try it with some aftermarket pads. Bradley's not a big fan of this. I love that locked in. I don't need to be locked in. I love in. that locked in feeling, baby. And I want to feel it because while I was doing the braking test, the goose test, um, all the different tests, really all the time I'm riding it, I'm like, yeah, so. that's an easy fix. That's a very lock, easy fix. Lock it in, join Just put it on aftermarket pads, put on your favorite ones. That's it. We sell grizzles now. Yeah, be camera. <laughs> um, and one other thing I want to mention before we wrap this up is mm -hmm. there was no climatization period for this thing. Just in I raw. got on, unlike the V13 that took a lot of practice to get used to it and yep. to, to like it, I liked it right away. Yep. So good job, the goad. Be camera, be camera. <laughs> Dean was going to hate it. <laughs> nope, I'm just getting slapped down. Nope, nope. Anyways, like comment and subscribe. Yes. What do you think about the EX30? Are we becoming Bagoed fanboys? <laughs> I certainly don't feel like it. The Bagoed fanboys. You say one nice thing about a company and then you're a fanboy, I yeah. swear to gosh. Oh, uh, the the Bagoed fanboys gonna hate us continue, continually yeah. hate us now? I don't, I don't know, can oh, you see those TSG passes in the back? Of the <laughs> <laughs> the first time. <laughs> 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 Just a little heart. <laughs> we're getting DOT helmets, okay? Oh, we're getting DOT all helmets. Right, right. Okay, let's wrap it up. Bye. 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 And tra la 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 la. Goosey 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 goose goose test. Doing the goose test. Hope I don't fail and crash and hit the ground. Yeah, 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 tra la 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 la, goose, goose, goose test for you and me. A goose test, what do you see?